I'm Waldo E. Johnson, Jr. I'm an associate professor at the School of Social Service Administration of the University of Chicago. And I've recently edited a volume entitled Social Work with African American Males, Health, Mental Health, and Social Policy. And this book explores the social statuses of African American males across the life course. I've invited a variety of scholars who study various social statuses of African American males, many of whom are social workers, to think about ways in which institutions and professions of intervention like social work can assist them in achieving uh, greater social mobility and social status in American society. African American males are among the most disadvantaged group in American society. They are much more likely to grow up in female-headed households, are less likely to have role models to help them in their development of what it means to become a man. In communities which are ridden with violence, violent behavior uh, may serve as the model for what manhood is. They're much more likely to have difficulties in school which often result in suspensions and expulsions. They have far lower graduation rates. Only about 50% of African American males graduate uh, from high school. Uh, they're much more likely to have had uh, juvenile or criminal justice involvement, sometimes both. The juvenile and criminal justice records can prevent them from pursuing post-secondary educational opportunities even after they've completed GEDs. They are much more likely to have longer periods of unemployment. They are much more likely to be underemployed and they tend to have lower salaries than men of other demographic groups. African American males are much more likely to suffer from depression. Uh, older men may be much more prone to hypertension, to heart problems, to prostate cancer. African American males have a lifespan that is similar to men in developing countries. Social work has traditionally responded to females uh, in their role as mothers as opposed to males in their role as fathers. So for example, social work and other programs are often designed to help mothers um, support their children, whereas men often want jobs. Social workers aren't necessarily trained to be job counselors or to help people find jobs. So men may often find that the services provided by social work traditionally are not what they feel they need in order to help them to succeed. In order for social work to serve men, Social work must also help men to understand that their roles extend beyond providing financial support to their families. After school programs have demonstrated a great deal of success uh, in, their, in engaging African American boys, these programs uh, can help them in terms of goal setting to, uh, to figure out how it is that they can move from childhood and adolescence into adulthood. We need to make sure that all African American males have access to work opportunities. We also need to make sure that African American males have access to housing, particularly public housing, which is often not available to them if in fact they have criminal records. As a society, uh, we need to establish an independent education and wellness plan for every African American male in the U.S. I've only scratched the surface in terms of the main ideas presented in the book. I encourage you to read it and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.